What's the most inappropriate time you laughed? I always had a problem laughing when I was being scolded in my childhood. Then I would be scolded further for laughing, then I would laugh more. It was a vicious cycle. At my grand aunt's funeral. She was a big, jolly food lover while alive and is sorely missed. Everything was going along, lots of tears, while the vicar was giving the eulogy until he shared her last words, Kuomon, a little whipped cream isn't going to kill me. I lost my shit, this was 10 years ago, and I still feel terrible for laughing. We were at my uncle's funeral whose death was a surprise, I was standing with my cousin who just came back from abroad to attend her dad's funeral and was breaking down. My aunt, the deceased sister, came to tell my cousin that someone we know is apologizing for not being able to attend the funeral because she's in the hospital due to a car accident. My aunt went on describing the woman's very difficult condition and how she had an iron pole stuck into her forehead. 10 minutes later, the woman appears through the door in perfect health with just some scratches. My cousin sees her and look at me from the other side of the crowded silent room and we both can't stop laughing for the rest of the funeral. A woman got on stage to sing during a friend's wedding as part of the ceremony. It was naturally a song the bride and groom chose. As soon as she opened her mouth it became clear that she absolutely toned deaf. It sounded like an animal being tortured. I was trying not to laugh, but two guys behind me started laughing, and it set off a chain reaction of laughter. Even the groom was red faced from trying not to laugh. She just kind of sheepishly left the stage afterward. Cadaver room. One of my classmates accidentally stuck his finger in a kidney because he thought it was behind glass and tried to poke the glass. He was like, squish oh a few ck. My computer's teacher in middle school told me he was run over by a car when he was a child. I laughed because I thought he was joking. He was not joking. This was at a ballet school performance. It was for kids ranging from 5 to 16 year olds. For one of the younger age groups they did this thing where one kid pranced from one corner of the stage to the other and then another kid would do the opposite in a big X pattern. And they would have these gigantic shit eating grins on their faces. Just horribly precious. Well I started losing it at about the 15th kid, but it went on for like 40 children. By the end I was in tears and all the other adults in the audience near me had found it contagious so everyone was just sitting there laughing at their own children. Me and a friend were all to boys. An older woman took to the podium to read a bible passage. The passage described how Jesus loves everyone, the sick and the healthy, the rich and the poor, the circumcised and the uncircumcised. That's all it took for a pair of 10 year old boys to start laughing hysterically in front of a packed church. A few years ago I was participating in a religious ceremony with my extended family. I'm not that religious, but my mom and her family are, so I agreed to participate. I was tasked with reading one of the sections aloud and had to read off a list of titles of the Virgin Mary. Most of them were pretty straightforward, Queen of the Angels, Queen Most Holy, etc. But there's one section that starts with the word, Virgin. Comma. I get to it, and I'm trying not to smirk, but as soon as I said the phrase, Virgin Most Powerful, I glanced at my brother and my so, and they were grinning at me. Their grins caused me to burst into giggles, and I had to excuse myself while my mom glared knives into me. My brother continued the rest of the reading. I was getting scolded by a teacher and just started to laugh. She wrote a note and told me to get it signed by my parents. Went back home and gave the note to my dad. He started scolding me and then I started laughing again. I'll spare you the details of what happened after that. My friend's dad was driving us to go camping. He told a story about how he got in a car crash and died on the way to the hospital, only to be brought back. I laughed nervously cause I wasn't sure how to react and he took it as me laughing at him and got offended. At the time, I couldn't explain why I laughed. That was an awkward car ride. A young teenager was leaning forward in a chair at a restaurant, lost traction, and slammed their face into the table. Absolute hysterical sobbing ensued. 
their parents stopped eating their salads to make sure they were okay, they were, aside from a nosebleed. I was sitting at the table next to them, and cracked the fuck up at the sound of them hitting the table, and even more, when they started crying. I was a horrible human being in that moment. Feel bad after the fact, but in the moment it tickled me to my core. I was once hired to sing at a funeral and, right before I was called up, the little boy in front of me ripped the loudest fart. I dug my face into my lady friend's shoulder and my whole body trembled as I tried to keep it together. Within seconds I was at the pulpit and trying to come up with what I would do if I broke out laughing. I sang to the best of my ability at the time with a cough every now and then. We left immediately afterwards and laughed in the car till we couldn't breath. Group therapy. A kid, 22 or so, but you get the idea, was talking passionately about his struggles with Asperger's and OCD. He had a squeaky voice. He started talking about his OCD categories. Things that belonged under the earth. Things that belonged on the earth. Things that belonged in the water. And things that belonged in space. He named specific objects. Rocks, bugs, etc. He said there were some things he could not fit neatly into his categories, even if they seemed like they were supposed to be in one. This distressed him. He bemoaned cars. He bemoaned women and pointed at one. Then with no seg, announced that the reason he was there was because he snuck into the zoo at night and leapt into the lion enclosure. I had to bury my face in my elbow and turn away. Of course his problems were real, but it just seemed so out of place on a day when people were talking about who diddled them when. This is a bad one. We were watching a news report on coronavirus and this lady was talking about her dead mother or grandmother. She was saying adjectives about how she looked when she died. She was this, she was that, and then I hear the legendary line she was, dead, obviously. Wasn't that funny, but I started chuckling, and my family noticed. I tried to stop but actually couldn't. Had to excuse myself, after they continued to make statements which I found hilarious funniest and most evil 10 minutes of my year. Not the most inappropriate, but when I started my job on L&D, someone was telling another person about a woman whose baby had died. The first person asked oh my god, what happened? And the second person said it died, and it made me laugh a little, because of course it died, the woman wanted to know how. Second was, a nurse approached me recently, and asked me to call someone to fix a bed, because we were moving a patient in it, and it folded, and she got, stuck in the bed, and I lost it. I laughed so hard. Me and my cousin are to this day best friends, but we were really crazy back, when we were 9 to 11. In 3rd grade, we both were in this school, where the teachers forbid downloading stuff on the computers and we decided to, I'm not kidding, download some porn. Let me just explain how the PCs were lined up, it was basically 4 rows of tables with computers on them, meaning that there were many kids beside and behind us. Also there were 2 teachers going around to check on the kids. We search for porn, and immediately as the results appear our 10 over 12 year old asses start laughing as loud as possible. I thought to myself, yep, this is it. We are gonna get caught, one of the teacher was behind us checking on the other row, and we were laughing so hard, that I couldn't move the mouse to close the window, wondering how no one even batted an eye. So I just managed to download a porn picture, and close the window off, then moved the picture in a random folder, and we were never caught. To this day I can't believe the luck our dumb selves had. After the most horrible terrorist attack in our country's history. I was in class with some people who survived it, and one of these was a really fat girl. She was telling the story about how she survived, and it included a part where she said that she rolled down a hill, and despite the seriousness of the situation I couldn't stop myself from laughing at the thought of her actually rolling down a hill. Yes I know I'm going to hell. In a technology class a couple years ago, for whatever reason we were having a talk about Kermit the Frog, and my teacher told the class to quiet down, and, stop Kermit. Someone then said in a completely quiet classroom, in a flawless Kermit voice, I never die. A friend of mine couldn't stop laughing in church. There was nothing funny, nothing at all but we couldn't stop. It was so embarrassing. 
My daughter was in probably first or second grade, and she was doing an online math homework where she had to answer a bunch of math questions, and it would give her percentage correct at the end, and then we ask the ones she missed. She was down to one question, and got it wrong, so she got 0% correct. She bust out crying, because she got 0%, and for some reason I thought that was so funny, that I bust out laughing and couldn't stop. And then she got even madder, and cried harder, because I was laughing at her, which made me laugh harder, which made her cry harder. When my parents told my sister and I, they were getting divorced. They obviously hated each other for years, and it was a long time coming. My sister and I looked at each other, and we both just started laughing. Never seen two people so confused in my life. Children cursing. It's really funny to hear, and catches me so off guard, I just start laughing, hard to discipline them, and convince them they shouldn't say those words, when you're laughing you're behind off. We were learning history in 6th grade and randomly someone said someone jumped off the bridge yesterday. Now, I laughed because it was out of nowhere, but I did get a talk from the teacher after that. Don't forget to consider the idea, to maybe think about potentially subscribing. Peace.